this is Preeti from Analytics India magazine and today's episode is a weekly update from the world of data science. Everything from new launches, latest research, cyber threats and events that have happened in the past 7 days will be covered here. So let's get started. Coming to the first news, Google's AI powered flood alerts now cover all parts of India and some parts of Bangladesh. In late 2018, in collaboration with the Central Water Commission of India, Israel Institute of Technology and Bar Ilan University, Google piloted a flood predicting model in portions of Patna, India as part of its flood forecasting initiative. And after expanding it last year to target more than 11,000 square kilometers along the Ganga and Brahmaputra rivers, Google today announced the model will inform alerts for all of India covering 5 lakh square kilometers and over 240 million people. Moving on, Emotion AI startup Entropic raises $8 million in Series A funding. The company shared its plan to use the funding amount to expand its presence in other geographies including the US, Europe, SE Asia while leveraging Abu Dhabi as base to scale in GCC MENA markets. It also plans to deepen its AI capabilities with its current 26 million emotion session datasets to deliver predictive offering. In some other news, Amazon's Prime Air drone delivery fleet gains FFA approval. Amazon has been granted an approval by the US Federal Aviation Administration that will allow it to start trailing commercial deliveries via drone. And while it doesn't mean that Amazon can immediately start operating a consumer drone delivery service for everyone, but it does allow them to make progress towards that goal. Moving on to some news related to space. Rocket Lab secretly launched its very first satellite, the first light. Small satellite launcher Rocket Lab says it has successfully flown one of its own satellites demonstrating that the spacecraft's design holds up in Earth's orbit. It's the first time the company has flown its in-house cylindrical spacecraft known as the Photon which Rocket Lab hopes to sell to customers for use in ambitious deep space missions. Also, SpaceX successfully launches 60 more of its Starlink high-speed broadband internet satellites. SpaceX has launched its latest batch of Starlink internet satellites, a full complement of 60 spacecraft that will join those already on orbit to add to the constellation. These will form the backbone of SpaceX broadband internet service which will aim to provide low latency, high speed connections to customers and regions where quality consistent service hasn't been available. Moving on, IIT Delhi establishes School of Artificial Intelligence to offer PhD and PG degrees. The Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi, announced that the institute has established an independent school of artificial intelligence on its campus. The AI school will commence its PhD program from the next admission cycle that is January 2021. The Tier 1 Institute is also planning to offer postgraduate degree courses. Moving on, let's talk about a tool to track autonomous vehicles testing by the US government. The US National Highway Traffic Safety Administration launched its autonomous vehicle online tracking tool, a map that shows some of the places where the vehicles are being tested on public routes. The map is a pilot program that now shows testing in 17 cities across the nation and the safety agency says that it will grow as companies submit more information. Moving on, let's talk about how the Indian government is championing the AI revolution. Over the last few years, the initiatives in AI at the policy level established by the government of India and the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology have driven significant interest in AI across various segments. Analytics India magazine has written a report on this topic along with 21 use cases. I'll drop the link in the description box below of the report. WhatsApp reveals 6 previously undisclosed vulnerabilities. Of the 6 new vulnerabilities that WhatsApp fixed, 4 were in WhatsApp for Android, 2 of which were part of its iPhone client, while the other 2 were specifically related to versions of WhatsApp desktop. Coming to the last news, cyber threat startup hit by ransomware. Irony struck at a startup, Boston-based security software company Sigilant after being attacked by ransomware. 
that blackmailed the company into various leaks and private information release. Sigalan stated that the company is way ahead of the attack and will ensure its welfare and employee safety. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.